Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. So while supper's finishing up, I thought I'd crack open one of these. Clyde's Caramel Cream Vanilla and Caramel Ale. So while I was getting my five beers for um, the, the challenge issued by Shane over at Shane's Craft Beer Reviews, I, uh, I stumbled across this and I would say it piqued my curiosity. I, I'm not 100% sure how much I'm going to like this, but I've never heard of a caramel and vanilla ale. So I thought I'd give it a shot. I've heard of plenty of dessert stouts and even porters. And there's plenty of sweet, like fruited ales that aren't sours, but I don't know what I'm getting myself into. It, it might be terrible, it might be delicious. We'll find out here in a minute. Uh, it looks like it weighs in at 5.7% ABV, and it's brewed and packaged by Burr Oak Brewing Company out of Columbia, Missouri, so home of the Mizzou Tigers. All right, suppose I'll need my mug. I did not set this up very well. It's a problem with not actually planning things out or actually thinking about things. Well, I mean, it's pouring more or less like I thought it, it would. It kind of looks like a cream soda, like an AW cream soda or something, where it's kind of a transparent caramel color, kind of like that. Kind of amberish, very light in color. Um, the head is off-white, not quite khaki, just off-white. Oh, that's interesting. It smells like a beer. Like, I was expecting, like, like caramel and vanilla to be right there. Maybe, maybe not, like, err, but, you know, noticeable. What I smell is just like a beer, like a beer beer. So, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Cheers. It's not bad. Um, on the on the palate, vanilla is definitely the star of the show. It comes through fairly strong. Um, probably not the strongest vanilla beer that I've ever had, but, um, it's fairly noticeable. Medium light body. The caramels, they're a little bit on the back end, but it's mostly vanilla. It doesn't necessarily taste like a beer, not like a... Not like it smells. <laughs> what I first said that it, it smelled like just you know your regular American lager, and I was surprised that I couldn't smell vanilla and caramel. But yeah, like as soon as it hits your tongue, you're tasting that vanilla. A little bit of caramel on the back end, and just in the aftertaste, it, the aftertaste is just like plain beer. There's not like a sweetness left on your tongue. So it. Definitely an interesting brew, to say the least. And I could probably drink these again, but I don't know that I will. So, um, I don't know. I guess I'm glad I tried it. I mean, it, it's a fairly solid beer, and I don't think I've ever had anything from this brewery, so I'm always excited to, to be able to knock off a new brewery and, and add to my untapped list. But um, I don't know that it's for me. It's not bad at all. It really isn't. It's just... It's not my sort of thing, I guess. It, it's maybe the vanilla makes it maybe just a little too sweet. If they could have had the the caramel and um, vanilla more balanced with like maybe a cream ale flavor or 
Um, I think it, the, those flavors would go really well with like a brown ale. So that's, that's my take on it anyway. And I'm going to leave you with that. So if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below. And don't forget to tell your friends. And this is the Malted Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver. So use it wisely.